Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland. It is new set time, new standard set. That means there's a bundle, and I always open the bundles because I use them for the background there. It's really the only reason I open these because, frankly, these aren't really worth the money in my opinion. But it's fun to open them, see what they look like. Okay, it's got some interesting characters. I like when they say the set they are on top. All right, it's pretty. that's a pretty cool looking one. It's not bad. Just a bunch of the characters from the set. Not a bad looking bundle. Also, oh, that's interesting. There used to be a little divider thing, like a little cardboard, like a box inside the box. There's no longer one of those. Let's see, one. Oh, is this? No, it's not. Oh, that's weird. The two is missing. Uh, yeah, that's really weird. Oh, there's a number, another number missing too. Uh, 16 is missing. Two and 16 are both missing. They're on opposite sides. Weird. So there was something, yeah, they're on opposite sides. The two and the 16 are missing. That's weird. All right. Other than that, it's kind of a cool looking spin down. Obviously, it's a spin down because the numbers are sequential and not randomized. I had someone ask that before, why it's called a spin down and not a D20. All right, so let's see what we have. There should be a promo in one of these. There it is, Axe Bane Ferox. That's your bundle promo for this set. Got some nice looking lands, too. Nice. So you, they give you one of each. Full art basic land. That's cool. So they're actually kind of putting more stuff now in these. But this should be the non foil versions. I'm assuming there's one of each full art land as well. That's something they haven't done before, was put full art lands in a bundle. That's pretty cool. One of each full art land. Yep. And then two of each of the others. And then a couple instruction cards so actually they're only giving you three of each now they give you they used to give you four now they give you a borderless and two regulars but they are doing nine packs now instead of eight now that they're doing whatever they're called now play boosters they got rid of set and draft and now they're called play boosters which is basically just set boosters with a couple more cards in it so it's kind of in between set and draft packs here's your art card at the back apparently very glossy all right so this is my first opening the first cards from the set that i'll be opening makeshift binding so you can get full art in play boosters hedge maze uh, enters tapped Surveil one. Oh, interesting. Ooh, a mythic. There we go. Vein Ripper. And then a foil common. All right. Good start getting the mythic. So, how many cards are in play boosters? 14 cards. So, set had 12 and draft had 15. So play boosters have oh that's interesting there wasn't an art card or is this an art card oh the art card is also the token weird so this one was just straight up an art card and this art card was at the back of a token interesting new things there's your borderless Got Leyline of the Guild Pact. And another mythic. Wow. And Anne's Rag. These are what the showcases are for this set. That's what they look like. So we got a showcase mythic and a list card from Strixhaven. Kintorius. Full Art Mountain. Very cool. So this one's just a straight up art card. A 
All right. We've got Lush Portico, part of the land cycle. You can surveil. Rare Axbane Ferox, which was the uh, the promo, the bundle promo. All right, a little punch out card on the back that time. Got your borderless there. So it seems like there's a borderless in every play booster pack. Oh, there's two in this one. Fae Flight. Got Rare Hunted Bone Brute. Topiary Panther. Whoops. All right. So what is this? Just a filler card? No, it's a token. Okay. All right, demand answers. Looking for something interesting. Cease and desist. Interesting. And another one. Hustle bustle. All right, analyze the pollen. Rare. And foil rare. Anne's rag. Oh, that's a mythic, actually. Foil mythic out of a bundle. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we got a foil regular border Anne's rag and a showcase Anne's rag. Here's one of the token art cards. It's kind of interesting that they're doing that. All right, not on my watch. Rare, unyielding gatekeeper. Another mythic. Wow, we're getting a lot of mythics. Rakdos, patron of chaos. That one's actually pretty good, I think. If I'm not mistaken, sanitation automation. Wow, four mythics out of nine packs. This is a really good bundle. That's the same art card we got on the first one. We're above average on mythics, below average on list. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes the list cards are pretty garbage. Right, rare fugitive code breaker and a foil dramatic accusation. Two packs remaining. Clue tokens, lots of clue tokens in this set. It's kind of the theme of this set. Candlestick. It was Rakdos with the candlestick. In the Lush Portico. All right, Arch Druid's Charm, rare. Defenestrated Phantom. Yep, that's how that card, that's how that word looks. <laughs> Defenestrated. All right, another token art card. Novice Inspector. On the job. All right, this is our last pack. We've got Steam Core Scholar. Pretty cool looking. And Forensic Gadgeteer in Showcase. I'm not sure if I like the showcases for this set. It's kind of weird. All right, and Foil Rope. And Foil Island. That was cool. All right, so, wow, four... Mythics out of our bundle here. Pretty cool. Here's another look at the box again. That's really the only reason you get these. Cool looking box. It's really the only reason I get them at least. So there you have it. I have three collector boxes coming up. So if you want to see those, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys then.